Hey, what's up everybody, Irresponsible Reefer here, and today I'm going to show you how to culture your own live phytoplankton. Uh, there's a whole bunch of benefits to dosing phytoplankton to your reef tank. Um, lower nitrates, lower phosphates, help combat dinos, uh, add to the biodiversity, can help grow copepods, which are good for your tank, and feeding fish. Um, help outcompete nuisance algae, it's a natural product, not a chemical whole list, do some research, whole list of benefits to uh, dosing phytoplankton or culturing it to grow copepods and whole list of things why it's good for your reef tank. So uh, I'll get you started here. So here's my little culturing station. I uh, have three 3.3 liter jars that I'm going to be using. Uh, first thing you need is a starter culture. This is some phyto that I cultured myself. It's a little bit thinner than I like, so I'm just gonna get another culture going so I get it a little bit darker. Um, when you do this, because phytoplankton is like a algae kind of product, you want everything to be sterile because you only want the phytoplankton growing. You don't want other forms of algae using up your fertilizer and growing in your culture along with it. Um, so, first thing you want to start with, besides your starter culture, is some fresh mixed salt water. So, this is RODI water. Um, I clean the bucket. You gotta make sure everything's sterile, so I wipe everything with rubbing alcohol. Uh, so that's what I did with that bucket. For me, some people do it, some people don't. Um, after I mix my salt water, I boil it to ensure that it's sterile. I want to mix the salt water for phytoplankton between 1.018 to 1.020. Um, so generally, if I'm boiling it to allow for evaporation, I mix it to 1.018. I boil it for five, uh, eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. And then I'll put it back in my sterile bucket and just leave it to cool the room temperature overnight and it probably creeps up from the boiling 0 0.01 so then i usually end up with 1.019 which is right in the middle but uh, i usually go on the bottom end just to allow for evaporation um so yeah the bucket's sterile i sterilize the water let it sit overnight to go back to room temperature um so now i have three clean jars i wipe these all with rubbing alcohol to ensure they're sterile and then you just leave them sit for a few minutes um, to ensure that all that rubbing alcohol you just wiped in there evaporates you don't want obviously uh, rubbing alcohol in with your culture because it will kill it so these are all sterile my bucket of salt water that is back to room temperature is sterile um, when you're storing or do you have phytoplankton, don't violently shake it up because you're going to damage the cells. Then you will get like settling on the bottom, stored in the fridge, and you invert it every day to get the particles suspended in it again. I prefer when I'm storing in the fridge to keep it in the door. So as people open and close the door and get stuff, it kind of shakes up the... Uh, the jug a little bit as you can see here in my other one I'm going to be using you can see all the settling from sitting for a couple days so then you invert it make sure you get everything off the bottom and you keep all that suspended otherwise in the fridge phytoplankton will be good for about a month but if you don't shake it up every day or day or two it will settle and then choke itself out all right, so now that these are all shaken up, I'm gonna add the phytoplankton to my three culture jars. Okay, so you can see nice green phyto added to the culture jars, just a little under half. You don't wanna have it too low because you just dilute it way too much. You can shock the culture and kill it. So I usually say at least like a third of the jar and then you're good to uh, top it up with salt water and uh, start uh, culturing it. 
So now my live Fido is in the jars. I'm going to add my sterilized room temperature salt water. Okay, I have now topped it up with fresh sterilized salt water. You can see it's a nice light green color. Um, so the next step I'm going to be is putting the lids on and um, I got a whole mess of wires right here. I got to get those organized. So I'll get the lids on, get the rigid airline tubing in, and uh, and uh, before you put anything in it, the rigid airline tubing, make sure it's wiped with rubbing alcohol so it's sterile. And you give it a minute to evaporate before you put in the culture. And so I'll get that set up and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so with, these are the three lids I use. Uh, I just wiped, wiped them with rubbing alcohol. As you can see, I have a hole in the middle for the uh, straw to go through. And then I have another air, uh, hole here for air to escape. You don't, you're gonna be pumping air into these cultures to keep them circulated. So obviously you don't want an airtight seal or anything on it. So I'll get these on and get the rigid airline tubing in. I'll show you. All right, so got all my airline in. I ran out of rigid tubing for my third one. So it's just a uh, piece of airline, but as you can see, works fine. Uh, so you want it there, going in there full blast. You want to keep it very turbulent, keep everything the Fido mixing very violently at like a steady boil. So as you can see, getting a lot of air blown into all three. What I use is just an air pump into a gang valve, and then I have it running to three lines going in there. So sterilize the straws before they went in, gave them a minute to evaporate, then put them in because you'll get moisture on the lids, on the inside of the lids, sterilize that, sterilize the jars, the water was sterilized. So next thing to do is add in the fertilizer. Uh, I use F2 fertilizer, I know some people use miracle Grow, but miracle Grow has like heavy metals like copper in it. So you can find F2 fertilizer, which is a reef safe fertilizer. Uh, every, fer every F2 fertilizer comes with its own instructions but I just have the lid cracked on them with the, as you can see, just don't have the lid secured down, just have it cracked a bit. And I'm going to, let's see if I can get this here. So, okay, there we go. Got some fertilizer. I'm just gonna lift up the tab here and shoot some fertilizer into my culture. Uh, for mine, um, it's like one mil per liter. These are 3.3 .3 liters. I'm gonna do just over three tube fills into each one. Okay, so I got three mils of fertilizer in each jar. I got the top secured down and uh, it's circulating well right now. So pretty much done. Uh, next thing to do, I just have this light that I use. It's just a grow light that I got off Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, I just have it hooked up to a timer. And generally you put light on this for 16 hours a day, eight hours of darkness. And within, depending how thin your culture was, in seven to 10 days, you will have a ton of phytoplankton ready for your tank. Um, don't let it get too dark. You'll kind of learn when the cutoff point is. If the, population gets too dense it will uh, choke itself out and crash so from experience you will learn what it looks like for your particular uh, species of phyto when it is time to harvest that's just something you got to kind of learn from experience I know what mine looks like um, but yeah turn on the light 16 hours a day and easy as that thanks for watching if you have any questions comment below like and subscribe and thanks for watching.